money for Hawaii's public schools through private donations. In return, the companies or individuals would get the right to name a building on campus. Jen Boniza checked with the state lawmaker behind that proposal. What if there were a way to provide public schools with the money to build new facilities and new buildings without touching tax dollars? I met with one representative who has a plan to do just that. Many Hawaii public schools are in need. Some need new locker rooms, others air conditioning. I sat down with Representative Rita Cabanilla Arakawa. She is introducing a bill to fix that problem. This bill will allow the Department of Education or a certain school to be able to solicit donation from the private sector. That means schools can ask businesses, companies, or even private donors for money to foot the bill. A bill like this would help schools pay for much needed facilities, like this one here at Farrington High School, the Edwa Skippa Diaz Stadium, and Kusunoki Field. In exchange, the donor could have a name or product placement visible. But those details would be negotiated. It's all our purview to say go or no go. This bill says that it is will be approved by the complex supervisor, and of course, it has to be in line with the priorities of the state and our values as citizen of the state of Hawaii. Cabanella tells me it would also shore up money for other things. Remember, there's over $800 million in repair and maintenance that the Board of Education is looking at. This is a, a way to address the needs of our schools, whereby it doesn't compete with current priorities and lessen the burden of taxpayers, and it's being delivered at a faster pace. It's all about giving Island Keiki the best learning environment possible as quickly as possible. I'll follow up and let you know what happens with this bill. From Farrington High School, Jen Boniza for K2N2 News.